Hello, <clears throat> welcome to lesson two of the course Introduction to Rapid Application Development using SQL Server and ASP.NET Maker. I am Benjamin Fadino. <clears throat> In lesson two, we shall be learning how to connect to SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. In lesson two, we shall be learning how to connect to SQL Server using SQL Server Management Studio. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do when you are connecting to SQL Server is to make sure that the service is running. Now, how do you ensure that the SQL Server service is running. Now, if the SQL server you want to connect to is located on your development machine, the first thing you need to do is to go to services on your development machine. <clears throat> So now I'm going to look for SQL Server. As you can see, I have three instances of SQL Server on this computer. Yeah. The first one, whose name, instance name is MS SQL Server, is the default instance. While I have two other instances, that's, I have two named instances. The named instances are B. Fadino and Ibukoloa. Now, from services folder, you can start and stop any service that is running on your development uh, computer. So, for example, if I want to stop the SQL Server instance called Ibukoloa, I will click on it and then I will click on stop the service. Now, if I want to restart it again, if I want to start it again, I'll click on it, then I'll click on start the service. So now we are going to connect to the SQL Server instance, whose name is Ibukonloa. Now we have ensured that the service is running. Now that we know that the SQL Server instance called Ibukonloa is running, the next thing we are going to do is to connect to it using SQL Server Management Studio. So now I type management. I've not even typing, I've not even finished typing the management. Uh, some items have come up. Now this is the best match for it. So I'll click on that link. Okay, so management studio version 18.4 is starting up now. Now I see I'm connecting to database engine and this is the server name I'm collecting, connecting to. Dot here means this computer and the instance name I'm connecting to is Ibukoloa. And I'm using Windows authentication method. In Windows authentication method, SQL Server tries to connect me using the current Windows account. Now, this current Windows account might be a local system account or an Active Directory account. So let me click Connect. As you can see, I'm connected to the SQL Server instance, whose name is dot slash Ibukoloa as a user whose name is Induka slash Ibuko. Note that I could also connect to SQL Server using SQL Server authentication if that is enabled. So I'm going to also connect to SQL Server using SQL Server authentication now. So now I can just go to connect in Object Explorer. Then I click on Database Engine. 
Now this time around, I'm going to change the authentication method from Windows authentication to SQL Server authentication. So I type the logon username and I type the password. Now, if you are not on a shared computer, you can click on remember password, then you click connect. I'm going to disconnect the SA user now. So I right click on the SA user. I right click on the SA user to disconnect the SK, SA user. So I right click disconnect. So now that we have learned how to connect to SQL Server, um, SQL Server using both Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. In the next lesson, we shall learn how to create our database and the first table in the database. Thank you.